The federal government will begin shipping tens of thousands of courses of remdesivir this week and will decide where the medicine goes. In early results from a trial sponsored by the National Institutes of Health, remdesivir was found to shorten the duration of illness in patients with severe COVID-19, but it had no statistically significant effect on whether patients died. UF Health in Gainesville was one of 68 clinical test sites around the world that took part in that study. These ongoing trials are being held and led by UF Health, among others. Principal investigator Dr. Nicole Ovine was involved, and she joins me right here on The Morning Show. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Now, this is the first study to show a clear benefit to patients suffering from novel coronavirus. That's correct. It's very exciting. Uh, Dr. Fauci emphasized it's not a knockout, but it does show that a drug can block this virus. Yes, that's exactly right. This is the first drug to show a clinical benefit. People got out of the hospital quicker, and the mortality rate was lower for people who received the drug. When you began that clinical testing and it started showing results, what was the reaction there in the lab? Um, well, the thing is, is that the study is a blinded study. So the investigators, the patients, we don't know who gets the drug and who doesn't. So it's really difficult to tell um, what, whether or not the drug is working. It's only after a number of people have been enrolled and the study is ended that the study is unblinded, and then the data analysts are the ones who can determine then who was in which group and whether there was a benefit. So actually, the investigators never know um, whether or not the drug is actually working. So let's talk about its efficacy. It's not like taking an antibiotic for a bacterial infection. It works more kind of like, a, I would say, a, a, a cancer drug, and um, it, it leads to some improvement, and it shows promise. That's exactly right. I mean, the way it works is that it stops the virus from being able to replicate itself. So if the virus can't replicate, it can't spread in the body or reach very high levels. And that's how it exerts its benefit. Does the research continue with this drug? Oh, absolutely. There is a second arm of the trial, which we hope is going to start um, next week. And in that study, um, everyone is going to get remdesivir, and about half the people will get a second drug to see if there's a benefit to having a two-drug combination rather than just remdesivir alone. So we're really excited to be participating in that next phase of the trial. So if combined with another drug, is it possible that it could be even more potent and more effective? Yes, that is exactly what the hope is. But again, we need these clinical trials to really figure out the answer to that. So what kind of time frame are we looking at before we get some, you know, uh, some concrete information? So the uh, first arm of the trial where remdesivir was compared to placebo, that part of the study um, was completed very, very quickly. Um, it's very unusual for a study like that to be completed in just a few weeks. And uh, that's because there are, this is an international collaboration. So there were many, many patients that were able, ed, were able to be enrolled very, very quickly. So we would expect that the second phase will also proceed um, in a matter of just a few months as well. And, and because of the worldwide concern, we have to point out that the FDA kind of fast-tracked this. Yes, yes, they did. They issued an, an emergency use authorization um, for the drug, uh, which um, obviously is really necessary as we are in this pandemic right now. So that doesn't worry you because there's some, you know, there's some scientists who say, you know, I, maybe we should do more testing. Do you think because of what's happening with the pandemic and the fact that we could be confronted with this virus for two years, the FDA has to cut through some of the red tape? No, I think what it was, was unique about the remdesivir situation is that it had already been through extensive safety trials years ago. In fact, it was one of the drugs that was investigated to see if it would work against Ebola. So we already have a large amount of safety data. So, no, I'm not concerned that this is being rushed through or that any corners are being cut. It's just that we fortunately already have a lot of information about its safety. Dr. Iovine in Gainesville, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate you. Thank you so much.